DaVinci Resolve is great. I use it as my main editing software and I also like to use it on different devices like my iMac here or my MacBook which can be a problem because there is no automatic cloud syncing of the projects within Resolve. So for that reason, I store all of my project files, all the settings and all the gallery stills on Dropbox, which has a couple of advantages. First of all, editing between different devices becomes really easy. I can, for example, edit on my iMac here at the office. Uh, I can save and close the project, everything is synced to the Dropbox, all of my media is stored on an SSD, I can then unplug the SSD, grab my laptop, go somewhere else, open the laptop and Dropbox will then download all of the changes and settings and gallery stills. I just need to plug in my SSD with the media and the project is there. I don't even need to relink the uh, files from the SSD because the file path stays the same, which is great. Same goes of course for syncing back to the iMac. When I'm done on my laptop, I just save the project, everything is synced, downloaded here and I can come back and plug in the drive and start working again without any any manual steps. And like I said, everything is synced, not only the project files, but also the project settings and even the gallery stills. So if I do some color grading uh, on the go on my laptop, and create some new stills, the stills are synced and also here on this machine. And a second huge advantage of course is the cloud backup. Um, there is no need to backup this machine locally on, on a drive, uh, Dropbox does that for you and also you get file versions which is really cool because if you do some terrible changes on a project and you want to go back, you can just choose uh, the latest copy from four hours ago, download that to your Dropbox and you are good to go. And now I'm going to show you how it all works and how you can do it yourself. Here we are on my projects page. Um, this is my cloud database which I have stored on the Dropbox. So let's say you do not have any database yet or you want to create a new one. In that case, you just hit new database. You can type in cloud DB, for example, YouTube. Um, and you go to Dropbox and you just choose a folder that works for you. And then you create the database, as simple as that. Now for the other case, which is more likely that you already have got a database, which is gonna be probably local, you can select this one and you can select reveal in finder so this is where it is and what you now simply can do is close the vintage resolve you can copy this whole folder you can also you don't need to delete it um, you can just copy it and choose a new location uh, for example I'm gonna create a temporary folder and put it in here. And now we can open up DaVinci Resolve again and connect to the newly created database, which is gonna be this option, connect database, location, browse, Dropbox, temp, and here we go. So I'm gonna open it up and I'm gonna call it cloud db. YouTube. All right, connect. And here we go. Now it is already connected and the file location, as you can see here, is on Dropbox. So it's as simple as that. Now, if you want to connect another machine to this database here, you just simply open up Resolve on the other machine and you hit connect database. You also type in cloud db youtube and just browse and you select the same location and everything will be synced within uh, between these two devices so what else is there to consider let me open up this video and go to the settings and i personally always work with the preset when i start a new project so i choose the preset i've created and hit load so in the presets, I have saved these settings for the working folders, which is really important for the gallery stills because these I want synced 
between devices and also on, on the Dropbox. So it's not lost when a machine uh, crashes and also I can uh, grade on, on, uh, on the MacBook and the, the stills are synced to the iMac, for example. So here I've chosen a location that is on the Dropbox as well. So I would recommend doing that. Um, yeah, that's the step. You can just select the location and save it. Just a quick disclaimer, this method ideally works between devices that run the same OS. So I'm running an iMac and a MacBook, which means the file paths are the same for my Dropbox location. If you run it uh, between a desktop PC and a MacBook, for example, you're gonna have different file paths, and that means the gallery stills that you define within Resolve, for example, are not gonna be the same on Mac and on Windows, which means it's probably not gonna work that well. So that's something to keep an eye on. I'm not sure if it works. Uh, you can let me know in the comments if you test it. For the other two folders, I would probably keep them local. Um, I've never really worked with proxy files and I don't do uh, a lot of caching or, or I don't cache a lot of files for preview. So I would probably keep these local here. You don't want these synced to the Dropbox and then uh, bloat, bloat up the, the whole space there. So just keep them local. And really important step now after choosing this is go to your preset and save it to the preset. So next time you load a new project and you load the preset, these folders are the same. And maybe also check before uh, starting the project if the folder is really correct and it works. As you can see, it's really easy to do yourself and uh, it's a huge advantage over just using the local database, which is really limited. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.